Welcome everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you how I integrate my rocket motor. Here is the nozzle of the rocket motor. I start off by adding the o-rings to it. The main purpose of the o-rings is to prevent hot gases from escaping. And here's the forward closure. And I also add o-rings to it. And here's the rocket casing. It's been through a few static fires so far so it is a little dirty in the inside. Once the o-rings are on the forward closure, I grease it up so it fits in the casing better. The grease also helps it come off easier after the static fire. Here it is all greased up. I put a lot on. And then I insert it in the casing. It is a bit of a pain so I do give it a few taps. If the threadings aren't lined up, as you can see in the video, you just gotta give it a little twist until all the holes line up. To keep the forward closure on, I use M5 12mm screws, and then I do use these plastic washers to prevent the screw heads from digging into the casing. In this design, I have a total of 7 screws all the way around. And then here's how it looks once they're all screwed in. Once the forward closure is on, it's time to add the propellant. I made a video going in detail on how I made this, I'll link that above right now, and it will also be in the description. Before loading the propellant, I do measure it out precisely to know exactly how much I have. Once the propellant's loaded, it's time to add the nozzle in. I do the same thing as the forward closure, and I grease it all up. And now we're almost done. I add the seven screws on the nozzle to keep it in place. And now the most important part, integrating the igniter. Please let me know in the comment section below if you want me to make a video about how I make these. And then the last step is to add some tape to prevent moisture from getting in and there we go, you have a fully loaded rocket motor. Thank you for watching, please like, comment and subscribe and also if you would like to support you can buy me a cup of coffee, any support helps, thank you.